Welcome to 10 Minute Teach with Mr. A. In this video, we're going to be dividing whole numbers and decimals by 10. Okay, let's get straight into it. We've got our six examples to go through. We've got our mixture of whole numbers and we've got some decimals as well. Let's start with our first one, which is eight divided by 10. And when you're dividing any whole number by 10, you're going to want to put the point zero. So the ones and the tenths in there, and that's going to make it nice and easy for you to move that number around. Now then, so if I've got eight and I'm dividing by 10, well, the number's getting 10 times smaller. So I'm going to want to move my digits to the right. And the number of digits that you move it corresponds to the number of zeros that you have just there. So we'll be moving it over one place to the left. So I'm going to put my decimal place on my next line and I'm going to move my eight over one place, one jump over. And then I can put my placeholder in for 0.8. So what's happened there is that my eight has moved diagonally one place in our place value grid to make it 10 times smaller. So essentially we've divided by 10. Let's try that with our next number then. We've got 84 and we're going to be dividing that by 10. So we're going to put 84.0 like we did with our last example and a decimal place below it just there. Now we're going to want to make this 10 times smaller and like we did with our last one is to move everything over one place to the right. So my 10 eights become eight and my four ones become 0.4. So I've got 8.4. So I've literally moved everything over one place and made it 10 times smaller. Let's move on to our third example then, which is 135. And we'll pop our decimal place in there and one below it. And we're moving everything over to the right one place to make it 10 times smaller. So my 100 becomes 10, my 30, becomes three, my five becomes 0.5 for 13.5. So one thing when you're doing the whole numbers by 10 and you're dividing those is to make sure that you put that decimal place in because what that does is it gives it a bit of an anchor point that you can move all those numbers around. Let's move on to number four then. So 6.28 and we're dividing that by 10. We've already got our decimal place in this number, so should be a little easier. So everything still moves over one place. So our six becomes six tenths, our two tenths become two hundredths, and our eight hundredths become eight thousandths. And I can put my placeholder for my ones column in there for 0 0.628. Our next example has some tens and some hundredths as well. So 43. 0 0.05 and dividing this one by 10. So we'll pop our decimal place below. And once again, everything moves one place over to the right. So my 40 becomes four, my three becomes three tenths. I still need to move my zero over. So we don't change the order of any digits or get rid of any. And our five, uh, five hundredths becomes five thousandths for 4.305. Now our last one does go to thousandths in our number. So let's write this one in. So 22.795 and we are popping our decimal place in there, dividing this one by 10. Let's start again with this one. So our 20 becomes two, our two becomes two tenths, our seven tenths becomes seven hundredths, our nine hundredths become nine thousandths, and our five thousandths become five ten thousandths. So really, really small pieces there. So 2.2795. If this video has helped you today, then please consider checking out my other videos. Maybe leave a comment for any that you'd like me to do in future. And also maybe a little subscribe as well. Until next time, guys. Goodbye.